the world seems to be waking up to ayahuasca and that this is part of the natural coevolution of the human species with this plant. And we tend to look at our relationship with these psychoactive plants uh, in a very short time frame, you know, but evolution doesn't work that way, you know, and, and so all of the things that are happening with, uh, with ayahuasca now in the last two decades, we have to remember that's a blink of time, you know, and ayahuasca has had a relationship with the human species for probably 10,000 years at least, and I would like to think it will have a relationship with our species 10,000 years from now. And I would like to think that part of the reason it could is that we'll still be here 10,000 years from now because we've actually learned the message that ayahuasca has to teach us. And I think that it's, it's, it is literally, and as I say in this article, it has literally emerged out of the Amazon. It's escaped in a way. It's been the provenance of indigenous peoples for thousands of years who don't really need to, um, who already understand the message, you know. They don't have to be hit upside the head like we do in the Western culture because, you know, they are the stewards of nature and, they, and you know, they have understood the teachings of these plant medicines. So it's not a scientific view exactly, it's a personal view, but I do think that ayahuasca and the other plant medicines, but, but now ayahuasca seems to be, the focus seems to be on ayahuasca, uh, is desperately trying to transmit a message to our species on behalf of the entire Gaian community of species, the entire biosphere. And the message is basically, wake up. You know, wake up you monkeys, because your impact on the planet is threatening the survival of life on Earth. I mean, it is really what it comes down to, you know, and in the in the most uh, you know unvarnished sense, this is what we're talking about. And I and we as a species don't seem to get the message very easily. You know, we're very good at denial, and I think that ayahuasca, if you believe that it's it's a plant intelligence, and if you believe in you know, the, the intelligence of the guy in mind, if you will, uh, you know, then, then it's been elected or delegated to try to get us to wake up. And it's getting a little desperate about that, you know, and that's why it's moving out into the world and why people are waking up to it and why, you know, it's establishing footholds in other parts of the world. Now it's not, not confined to the Amazon, it's growing everywhere. It's in Hawaii, it's in Australia, it's in, you know, greenhouses in Europe. It's, it's being propagated anywhere it can be propagated. And people are learning to use these medicines and they're learning, they're, they're teaching other people. These are teaching tools and these are ways to propagate these ideas, but this is the message that our species needs to, needs to uh, recognize, needs to hear and respond to. Uh, and it's all about sustainability and uh, learning to live in harmony with nature, changing our whole you know, understanding of our relationship to nature. We have the notion that we own nature, that nature is here for us to exploit, make a profit from. If we're going to survive, we have to change our whole perspective. And ayahuasca is one of the most powerful tools that we have to do that because it changes hearts and minds. And this is what we have to do. We have to change hearts and minds. And so we're in this uh, you know, funny uh, sort of cultural juncture where to plant a garden is a revolutionary act to pass these plants over the back fence to your na neighbor, get them to plant it, teach them how to grow that plant and make that medicine, get them to give it to their, nat their neighbors and it will propagate out. I mean, I really think it's a race against time, but you know, there's not a moment to be lost. 
but I think if anything is going to save us, that's going to save us, is kind of the, the, the planet wisdom and the plant wisdom that these medicines are, are giving us access to.